Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about how to find the domain range of one-to-one -one functions. So um, here we have the function f, and we're going to assume that this is one-to-one. -one. Um, you could show that it's one-to-one -one algebraically, um, but you know we're going to kind of go ahead and skip that step. We're going to just go with the assumption that it is one-to-one. -one. All right, so to find the domain, um, we already know how to do that. So the domain of this function, real easy. Uh, we just know that x minus 5 can't equal 0, okay? Because if it does, then you have an undefined, um, you know, und undefined value. You have some, some number over 0, so that's not okay. Okay, so that means that x cannot equal 5, right? If I were to add 5 to both sides of the equation there, I get x cannot equal 5. So the domain is negative infinity to 5, in unison with 5 to infinity. All right, so now to find the range of this, it's a little more difficult. So, um, you know, but we can go with that rule that the, um, you know, range, this is one of the properties of, um, of one-to-one -one functions or properties of inverse functions that we talked about earlier. So the range of f is the domain of f inverse. Okay, so sometimes it's easier to find the domain of f inverse to find the range of f. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and find f inverse. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, let's set this equal to y. And then I'm going to replace x and y. I'm going to switch x and y. So I'll have x equals y minus 4 divided by y minus 5. And then I'm going to um, solve for y. So I'm going to multiply both sides by y minus 5 times x equals y minus 4. I'm going to distribute the x. So I'll have y x minus 5 x equals y minus 4. Then I'm going to bring the y's together. So I'll have y, x. I'm going to subtract y from both sides of the equation. OK, so that y over here will cancel. I'm going to bring over the 5x. So I'm going to add 5x to both sides. So I have y, x minus, OK, equals 5x. I'm going to add 5x to both sides. All right, and then I'm going to pull out the y, so I'll have x minus 1 equals 5x minus 4. Okay, I'm going to bring this up here. So if I divide both sides by x minus 1, I'll have y equals 5x minus 4 divided by x minus 1. Okay, so f inverse of x is equal to 5x minus 4 divided by x minus 1. Okay, so what's the domain of this? What is the domain? Oops. Domain of f inverse. Okay, so we know that x minus 1 cannot equal 0, right? So x cannot equal 1. So the domain of f inverse would be negative infinity to 1 and then 1 to infinity. Okay, so there you go. That is the, also that is the range of f. So the range of f then would be negative infinity to 1, 1 to infinity. So this is the range of f, and this is the domain of f.